if like, even if you have, have no 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 weight in, in in whatever he does like yeah it doesn't affect them in any way for mm-hmm. some reason they like hate him as if he murdered their children or something like, it's, it's yeah. crazy i think that like once you people don't respect like you have to earn people's respect and i feel like that's like really wrong for like society i guess i'm the only one without headphones Oh, I, no. Well, I'm doing it because I have to like listen to what's listen. going on. It's okay. But welcome back to another episode. Yo, yo, yo. We decided the perfect One, way two. to start this episode was to talk about politics. The very thing <laughs> I know, right? that people say not to talk about. <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah, we've had a few people uh, talk to us. That, hey, like, if you're going to talk about politics, you should really be informed and really know. They really say that? Be about your P's and Q's because, you know, spreading misinformation can really... <laughs> irk some people lol or, or no. spread the incorrect message and well you know what we're incorrect people so yeah and, <laughs> and to that i say you know you shouldn't take this show seriously yeah and you really and should you should honestly, be informed <laughs> this shouldn't be your resource <laughs> you, yeah you really should <laughs> honestly i stopped paying attention to all all the <clears throat> haters you got your hater no. blockers on right now yeah bro for real yo. if you guys can see on the video on the live and on youtube i'm fresh back from vacation again so vacay got Ooh-hoo. my shades on and i'm ready to roll um but who am i kidding i came from new jersey so <laughs> it's not like it's cali or anything no, so that's fine i should even have these on but to be honest i was in new jersey but i freaking brought the florida heat with me and, and it was hot over there. It, was, it, was it was hot, hot up there it was hot and i brought the florida storms too Oh, oh, it was raining. Dude, that yeah, sucks. we had a birthday party for my niece on Saturday, mm-hmm. and we had tents set up, and it started raining because we were prepared. Yeah, we had the tents, right? So everything was good. Um, you know, there was a little mishaps here and there with like you know some trash being blown away, you know this and that, and you know some people like running away from the rain and stuff. Oh, but really? Overall, it wasn't too bad. But the next day. <laughs> Next day it was clear, but the wind was still there. And we we're just chilling outside, you know, talking. He still had the tents, you know, he didn't take them down yet. We we're just talking, bro. All of a sudden, dude, it's like this hurricane just tore through the yard, bro. Oh, snap. And the whole thing goes, <laughs> ooh, bro. It levitates up in the air. We're all just sitting down and we're just staring at it in shock. We're like, whoa, what the heck is this? Bro, it freaking slammed the whole thing <laughs> into the neighbor's yard, bro. Holy it went crap, upside bro. down. Dude, we were like, whoa, 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 what happened here? And then, you know, after that, he was like, all right, we should probably take it down. <laughs> 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 That's a sign. Let's take this Yo, down. Yo, that, that 18 year old is your niece, right? Yes, that is my niece. I, I want to make a joke about her, but I'm not going to. Mm. Why not? Because I don't want it to be mean. Oh, okay. I don't want it to be mean about her. I guess not. Yeah, you know I would her? steer. I would steer clear from that. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'll just tell I'll you guys. I'll just tell you guys off air. Yeah, like, it, it's, <laughs> it's 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 not it's not it's not that it's mean, but I'll say this. You know when you see someone and it reminds you of someone in a movie. Yes, it's like one of those situations. It's like, um... but depending on who it is, they might take that as like a like a diss. You know, For what so reason? because maybe know. that person doesn't look that good. Hmm. Like a quiet place. Is there somebody there that reminds you of someone? A quiet place. I never watched that movie. Are you serious? Have you watched it? Ah, oh, come on. But I'm just going to say no, because I feel <laughs> he doesn't like watch you're anything. leading us into trying to get us to compliment you. And I'm not trying to do compliment. No, you. I don't look like you look like, like Ryan Gosling. Bro. That's just <laughs> it's OK. Just take it. Dang it, bro. I'll take it. Bro. I have That's to what say he was it. wanting us. To I say. know. I <laughs> know. And I know. It, it was a play. trick. I, I saw a movie that he wasn't in. I know. So I fell into the no. track. <laughs> into the trap. Into the trap. I fell into the trap. All right, guys. I hope to be in a magazine of like Hollywood lookalikes. Yeah, that'll be my big and, break. And just because we say it every single time, and you know that we're lying every single time, Jonathan has either died or quit the show. <laughs> oh my god, he's not here anymore. Yes. Oh yeah. Um, Byron is another story. I'm like a floater. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what's going on at this point. At this point, I might have to speak with management, and we might have to clean house because we got some people who are, are not committed, not committed to the oh. well-being of the show. Hey, Byron. 
You have no more PTO left. No, you're you out. used it all. This is your last verbal, bro. Yeah. You <laughs> used time, it all, bro. You're you're on a written, bro. <laughs> so get it together. And after three written, it's gonna be one citation. After that one citation, you guys don't know what I'm quoting? The Office? No, nobody. No, bro. Sorry, oh, man. we watch real shows over here. Yeah, Office oh, is no. whack, bro. That's an amazing yeah. show, bro. That's whack, bro. Office that's is whack. An, I love that show. Bro. I'm not superstitious, but I'm a little stitious. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, The Office is one of the most overrated shows of all time. You think so? Nah, yeah, I think, I think so. it's just yeah. right rated. Ah, you know, you know, you, you, you just you, 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 <laughs> you just upset so many people. You did, man. Yes, and you, I'm starting off the show right where I left off last week with offending large groups of people. <laughs> and don't think it's gonna stop anytime count, soon because I got a lot coming for, for a lot for of groups of people today. The thing about The Office is not that I I don't think it's a bad show because I watched it all. Mm-hmm. I will say it was not as good when Steve Carell left. Everybody agree. agrees with that. I agree with that. Okay, as so it was fan. mediocre so, at best. But after he left, well, yeah, after I don't he take left. that offense. <laughs> it was a it was a great show, but it's an amazing show if you really enjoy dry humor, mm-hmm. which I'm not exactly. one of those people. I'm one of those people. Like obviously, like like there's like those one liners that they say on purpose, you know, to make people laugh, mm-hmm. where like. They're not trying to make people. The the whole point of the show is like they're not trying to make people laugh, but what they're doing and saying makes people laugh. Yeah, that is isn't, it, is that, it awkward that, like real life things that, that would doesn't in real make life, me stuff. laugh. It makes me laugh. Like there was a lot of times when I watched The Office and I was just, dude, I was the complete like opposite. legit. No, I know my brother's the same way. Yeah, my brother, my brother and John, they're like, <laughs> yeah, God. well. Toby, Toby. Jonathan is like the king of <laughs> cheese Toby. on this show, so that's no surprise that he's a big fan of the show. Um, I will say that I am a fan of Steve Carell's other works. I am as well, such as Forty Year Old Virgin is like one of my favorite movies. One of my ever favorite. Did. That's top. That's one. I of thought it was hilarious. He has some really funny movies, and he's a really talented actor. Um, not just. In comedy, but I've heard, you know, I've heard, I haven't seen it myself, but I've heard he's done some good work in some drama movies as well. Oh, I've seen so, some that he's, yeah, I have not he's seen. He's good, it. man. Yeah, Especially so. that one where he's like a toy or whatever the heck it is, where like he makes like a toy land. Pinocchio? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know. No, he's no, like an old, it's an old one, right? It's an old movie. No, it came out like last year. Oh, then my bad. I don't know. It's like he, he has like some mental problems or like, oh, I, I remember what it is. He got, he got jumped. And he was like a normal guy, and he got jumped. And because he got jumped, he has mental problems now. Oh, like they beat him? Yeah, like they beat him. Yeah, and he's his brain got messed up. Exactly. Time. So then he like kind of took on creating like an a new world. Like when he he built like a whole land, like on the yeah. table or whatever heck. And like in his head, he's the character. Okay. And he oh, like and he like makes talking about he now. makes the toys based off of real people in his life. Yeah. And that's like how he copes with like him being, yeah. you know, having the problems. Mm-hmm. So that it's it's dope. But with that said, I mean, I would have to watch it again because I don't remember half of it, so. I have not watched it, but I know what you're talking about. So that doesn't actually help at all. So, I'm not the only one that came back from a vacation. <laughs> um Yeah, Mario. Remember, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Mario's on like a three month vacation since the last time he's been on the episode. That's true. No. Yeah, I've been on three But our, our friend here, Matt, is back from his emergency vacation, which required emergency off time from work. So Correct. Um please so, share with us the the Deets. The Deets. The yeah, Deets. The, the what happened on this um, amazing emergency trip. There were sixteen of us. Whoa. <laughs> so just take that into account. 16 of us. Um, I'm going to watch what I say. Bro, honestly, the Because more... Dr. Agustin Lopez jumped on. Ooh. LOL. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe we should save this story for later. No, 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 no. No, it was it. it was awesome. It was awesome. And it was like, it was one of those things where you know, it's like one of those trips where you're going to plan and it's just not going to go the way you planned it. Does that make, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, I know exactly how, what you're saying. And I feel like when you That's add most trips. more people into such plans, the more 
variables are going to Exactly. It's more spontaneous. Exactly. Yeah. So we got there and it was a huge house, bro. It was four floors. Oh, what? You did, you did uh, Airbnb? No, I don't think it was. I think it was just like a, they just rented a vacation home. Oh, okay, okay. It wasn't like an Airbnb. I don't think it was an Airbnb. I heard it was an Airbnb. It, okay, then it wasn't an Airbnb. That's what I heard. Okay, it wasn't an Airbnb. <laughs> right. I don't know. He's got but I don't know if I'm right. <laughs> okay. I know everything about your vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know more about my vacation than I know about <laughs> yeah. my vacation. Well, regardless if it was a vacation rental or if it was an Airbnb, it was awesome. Like, it had, let me count, one, two, three, four, five rooms and a loft that had five beds in it. It had like bunk yeah. beds. That is. That's um, cool. But what was cool about it was that none of the bathroom doors locked. Oh, well, why is that cool? Because I'm just being sarcastic. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not cool. None of the, uh, <laughs> none of the, none, uh, can, for some reason, I none of the bathrooms some locked. Incidents happening. So there was yeah. a lot of opening doors and people taking dumps. Yeah. That's, there was a lot. Of, bro, I was funny. taking a shower one time and my nephew walked in. I'm like, hey, hey, I'm taking a shower. And he just walks up to the, because the, the shower that I had had like, a, <laughs> had like a glass door. So you could you basically see inside. Oh, my and God. And he was like, hey, I wanted to ask you, like, there's wings downstairs. Do you want wings? He's just there having a conversation <laughs> yeah. with you. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I do. Save me some. <laughs> and then he just leaves, bro. That was funny, bro. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, okay. That's you couldn't just, fun. you know, peek your head through. Not look, just be like, hey. Or just wait till you get out or, of the shower. Or you, could, you could talk through the door, too. Yeah. Like, you don't have to open the door. To ask so that, that, that was pretty funny. And then there was a lot of that that happened. Like, there was two times where, like, I, I guess she's my cousin, but it's my wife's cousin, really. She, she went to go open the door of the bathroom, and we were all standing there because the light was off. It was just, like, the sunlight coming through. So it did look like there was no one in there. Mm-hmm. And when she opens up the door, she goes, ah, and she turns around. And I'm like, what's going on? But I just happened to be right behind her when that happened. Yeah. So she turns around, and when I look, it's my nephew just standing there with no pants on. Oh, my God. Which was hilarious. It was hilarious because, like, he did not care. You know what I'm saying? He didn't care. And then I, and then I go to, to, my, to my cousin. I was like, well, why were you screaming? And I was like, I was like, yo, like I saw that, and she was like, oh no, I saw the dump that he left in the toilet. She wasn't wow. even looking at that. Okay. She was looking at the Mahones <laughs> in the toilet. <laughs> like she didn't even notice. She didn't even notice he wasn't wearing any pants. All she noticed was the Mahones in the in wow. the toilet. Well, I guess that's a good thing. That's perspective. <laughs> well, that had to be a disastrous dump then. For real, exactly. <laughs> hey, I, I, but all I know is that when, when my when my nephew says I need to stop and use the bathroom. Bro, he's there for thirty minutes. Which one? Um, <laughs> one of them. <laughs> one of them. <laughs> um, there was just so much that happened, bro. Like it was so, like, I'm pretty sure that the whole time we were there, we were swimming in piss water. Ew. Because when we got there. It, it was like a combination of things. So, like, when we got there, it's right on the beach. Okay. So, the water was green. Mm-hmm. But it was like a clean green. So, that, that night that we got there, we all got in the pool. Boom, fine, boom, okay. boom. The next day, we, we, we were like, oh, like, that water's kind of, like, green. But when we were in the water, the water was super salty. So, I was, so I was like, oh, it's probably just, the, like, they're using water from the ocean. Wait, so you talking about the pool water? The pool water was green. The pool water. Oh, uh, oh, hell no. Wait. I mean, I thought I've you were talking about the a, beach water. Yeah, I've never seen no pool water that was quote unquote clean green. It's salty. Sound. Well, it made sense because we were all like, we, we were all like, the, the water tastes salty. We're on a beach. So somehow they're using like salt water, but cleaning it. That's why it's green. Because the water on the beach was like, it was like a green blue, but it was clear. Like you could see your yeah. hand and your feet in the sand, like in the water on the beach. Right. What about in the so pool, like though? it looked exactly the same water? Okay, does that make sense? Okay. So like we we're like oh like 
you know, it's probably just the beach water. They're filtering it and cleaning it, but it's still kind of like the beach water. Okay. With with chlorine in it. So we just went in it again. The next day we went in it again. And then it was like the second to last day that we were there. Bro, the water was like brown. <laughs> it was like it was like That's not- dark green. It was dark green, and then and then Patora was like, "Yo, nobody get in the water. We're shocking that water because that water is dirty." And we're like, "No, no, it's it's fine. It's the chlorine. It's the chlorine. <laughs> it's the beach filtering. water." And they're like, "No, we talked to the to the pool guy. That's not clean water." So, so they shocked been- it. They shocked it. <laughs> the next day, the water was like a normal blue, like the oh way it is God, in the pool, guy, wow. the way it's supposed to be. That's so. So nice. we were like, take basically like. Swimming and like Ebola. taking in water and stuff like yeah. some dirty, dirty water. Ebola <laughs> infested. Oh, really? Poop infested. Filled. Pee infested. Bro, that's everything disgusting. infested. Yeah. But I stayed up every night watching, well, not watching, playing Call of Duty every single night. And we just happened to be right over Pastor's room. So we were at God at there. Like we legit did not let them sleep. Bendito. Like we were playing music so loud. And I will confess that it was not Christian either. <laughs> so that made it even worse. Oh, man. Dang, dude. And we started watching this show called Love Island. It's like a, like a reality love show where you have to find your couple. Okay. And if you're not in a couple, you get, you get casted off the island. Where? In the UK. It's a UK okay. show where they're, they're all talking with accents. Uh-huh. On BBC. Would you like to be it, Yeah, it's, it's ITV too. So I guess it's oh. like their MTV. Oh, okay. yeah. It's like their MTV channel. So it's a ridiculous show, but I got so obsessed with it. But then I found out that it has 50 episodes in the season. How long are the episodes? An hour. Oh, hey. Whoa. What? Exactly. A lot of drama. Jeez. How many seasons? It, there, I think they have five seasons, but every season is the like that one season with those particular people. And then the next season is like a new set of people. So we're so watching. it just focuses on one couple at a time? No, 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 no. It's, oh, like, yeah. group it's like a group of couples, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. It's basically, there's six, there's five girls standing there, and then the guy comes in, and they said, if you, if you find that, if you, fan, if you fancy the guy, step forward. And then, then they, like, stand front, and then the guy gets to choose out of how many girls stand forward, like, which one they want to be with. Okay. So, this black guy walks up. <laughs> And they're like, who fancies him? Like, step forward. Nobody steps forward. Oh, man. And he's just standing there like. That's so racist. Like he, and he was like, come That's on. trigger. Come on. Who wants some of these? And, <laughs> and then nobody steps forward. And he's like, oh, wow. <laughs> Awkward. Awkward. And then he just, green. He just chooses one of the girls, like a girl that didn't want him. And then a white guy comes in. And then the girl who's with the black guy says, I want to be with him. And then she goes Dude, with that guy, and then, trigger, and then man. the black guy has to sit in the corner and wait until the last what girl. The and heck? then there was one girl who didn't have anybody, and then they're like, that is your partner now. <laughs> it's like so, Dang. and you have to sleep in the same bed with them. Like, wow. like, like that's your couple. That is so sucks, bro. racist. For real. We need to start a freaking, um, what you might call it. Protest. We need to start a against march that and a show. protest against the show because that is supremely racist against what was it with netflix of african i'm never gonna watch no netflix. hulu hulu i'm never gonna never watch it again. It. i'm never watching it dude britain britain is banned. I'm, I'm, I'm never going to great britain again i'm gonna never. spoil it well, i'm gonna been. spoil it for you guys <laughs> that's fine he makes it to the finals oh it's not the unwanted the unwanted the hey final. fighting the, the system the yeah. and then and then he, and then <laughs> And then he leaves the show with the girl that he met on the show, and they're together in real life, right? Interesting. And then he cheats on her. (laughs) Boy, if you don't get out of my face. (laughs) Yeet. Yeet, you didn't want me before. I'm not saying anything about that. Like, I really want to say something, but I'm not. About cheating? No, about about him cheating. About him cheating. Yeah. (laughs) Well, not only him cheating. It's just the stereotypical. It runs in their nature. (laughs) (laughs) You said it. you said it. No, I said it. it. (laughs) You all said it. I just said it because I know that you're usually the one to say stuff. But I don't agree with what I said, okay? (laughs) Just to make sure. It's just stereotypical. The whole point of the story is nothing really happened. It was just fun. 
the highlight of my story was that I drove seven hours on two hours of sleep Yo. at around 11 p.m. So I got home at five. Okay. And I had my, my niece, Yasmin. We got to Pastor's house at five in the morning. She had to start work at seven. Oh, no. Oh, I would have called out, bro. Goodness, no. <laughs> she couldn't. Why? Because she's up for a promotion. Oh, I guess no promotion. What kind of fake job is that? Bro, I, I drove like about 100 the entire time. And, I would have done the same. And it was like, and it had like the deer sign. So I was driving like, oh, dear. Like looking to the sides because I didn't want to get, I didn't want to get, you know, hit. By a deer. By a deer. But it was funny because when we first left, maybe like the first 15 minutes that I was, that I was driving, I saw maybe 20 cops. And then I, I was driving. Driving 100? No, no, I was driving like 70 something. The the speed limit was 70. So I went 85 the whole reasonable. time because reasonable. reasonable, just in case there's a cop. Yeah. I didn't see a cop for maybe three hours because it was like one in the morning. Yeah. So they're, they're not going to be out there. Plus, like, they would have to drive really far to get to where you're at, to where I'm at. So I was like, you know what? Forget it. I'm going to book it. I did like 110. Bro, scary, bro, 30 seconds after I did that, there's a cop posted up. <laughs> And I passed him at 110. I was like, oh, man. That's it's it. Over. That's it's it. Over. It's over. I'm going to jail. I'm, I'm literally. I'm going, going to jail. Right I'm going to jail. <laughs> and um, the cop never left. And I did the whole, like, look up into the into mm -hmm. the rear view. Yeah. And I was, like, looking to the sides. I was like, yo, they're going to get me. And Crystal was knocked out. Yasin was knocked out. So I was just like, do I slow down? But then what if he's coming after me? Yeah. So I was like, let me speed up. But what if he speed like radio? Up. Yeah. And what? Then, but then I was like, what if I radio? What, what if That's he radios somebody else. up higher? Yeah. So I was like, dang, it's a lose lose. So I just sped up. I, wh what? <laughs> How I does that make sense? I You're like, oh up. man, it's a lose lose. Let I, me just speed I up. I sped up from my lane and I went in front of another car and then I slowed down a little bit for like maybe 10 minutes and I didn't see anybody. So then I just booked it again. I just went back in the other lane and booked it. Oh, no. I would have definitely slowed down after that one. But to be honest, I've taken like hard detours just to avoid cops, cops? From driving behind me, to be honest. Because I've it, hasn't there been times where you feel like you have a suspicion like, dude, this guy's going to pull me over. Even though you're not doing anything. Yeah, yeah like he just, yeah, he he just wants bro, to. I just, I'm turning into this random neighborhood. Bro, I could turn into the most ghetto neighborhood of all time where they be doing drive-bys and stuff bro but i'm not getting pulled over bro i'm gonna drive so you'd rather get shot than get <laughs> yeah, <pulled over>. bro, <laughs> i'm not trying to get pulled over bro i will freaking drive 10 minutes out of the way if i have to for real just to get <laughs> well you know there's really? a new app that like lets especially, you know where the cops are especially on 192 bro i've gotten stopped there like four or five times bro uh, I, and last time i take 192 there. was like Two and a half months ago. I'd hate taking that road. I, I actually never go on there either. I only go on there like maybe on Saturday mornings when it's not that bad. Yeah. But I or, never. Or take if I'm going to take the turnpike there, like Miami, South. Whatever. No, I don't. I don't take that one. I take the one in the back. Like towards St. Claude? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I don't know. Um, that actually happened to me today where I was like, I don't. I'm not going to divulge my information. But let's just say that I can get pulled over at any time, and they have probable cause to do so. Let's just say that. Expired tax. Oh, dang, bro. For real? You're going to put them out, dude? <laughs> I wasn't going to just say, just in case there's a cop watching. Street pharmacist. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pushing dope on the side. <laughs> Um. Yeah, my tags are expired. Jesus Christ, bro. Dude, way to put him out there. So, he, he said <laughs> he was not going to put his information out there. And he just goes ahead and, and does worry. Do his address is... I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> my address is somewhere in Legacy Park, St. Cloud, Florida, or Osceola <laughs> County, Florida. No, um, what's it called? Um, I hate driving in front of cops. Because, you know, they could yeah. see my tags. Yeah. Or they could pull up my registration and find out that my... <laughs> so I do everything possible to make sure that I'm, like, behind a car. Or, like, if he's behind me, I get in front of a car in front of him. Yeah. But I try to do it as discreetly as possible so it doesn't look like I'm trying to avoid him. That was not the case today. Like, I couldn't get out of the way. So you got stopped? 
No, that's happened twice. I was in bumper to bumper traffic on Turnpike, Mm. and I couldn't move, and he was right behind me, bro. And I was like, I was in my car, like, this this is he's gonna get me, he's gonna get me. And like, bro, there was like an opening for me to switch lanes. I went, oh, bro, I just, I just yanked it over, and he never stopped me. But today, bro, dude, I think the guy wanted me to speed up because it was like my car, and he was right next to me, and like. He would speed up, and then I would speed up, and then he would slow down again. Dude. So then I would slow down, too, to kind of stay there because I didn't want to pass him. I didn't want to pass him, but it was getting ridiculous. Like, we were, like we were creating traffic behind him because <laughs> we both weren't moving. You're, like, we were both just, like, driving oh the same God. pace, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, I'm, I'm going to have to speed up. Yeah. Bro, right when I went to press on the gas, he pressed on the gas and just booked it. And he passed me, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Oh, I just, god. I just slowed back down. I was like, "Oh my god!" Bro, that was such a big pet peeve of mine. When you drive behind someone and you're going so slow, and then you switch lanes, and then all of a sudden it's fast <laughs> yeah, and furious. Sorry, bro. you know what, dude? They I, do, pur- dude, I do that on yo, purpose so, to people, bro. My mom, you better not get stopped ever. You need to drive like an old man, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I've done that to people because they be like on my butt, right? So they're Bro, like, I would just, butt. I would just get even closer on you. No, so they would do it, and I would go slower. So then when they switch, and I see them speed Ooh. up, I speed up with them, <laughs> and I just look at them like, yeah, it's no, me. no, no, no. You know what I hate, and it happens to me all the time, when you have to merge into the lane, and then they're like, they're like trying to make sure that you don't go, but then, that. and then it's like, dude, it's I like for me, I don't care about that stuff. Like sometimes I do. But most of the time, I don't care. And I'm just like, bro, just go. Yeah. Just go, sis. Just stop trying to cut me off. But then what I hate is when they act like I'm invisible. Like, they're just, like, they're passing me, and they're just, like, we're fighting for, like, the spot, and they're not even looking. They're just. I'm, and I'm looking at them and telling I'm me, like, just go. Yeah. Just go. I, I hate that, bro. Like, just look at me and let me know that you don't want me to go. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just give me the decency. Bro, honestly, I'm the type of person that I will force my way in there. <laughs> like. Yeah. On, I'm not that um, person. Driving through the airport yeah. when you get off on Boggy Creek, it's usually traffic there. That's the lot. worst. And you have to, bro, it's like immediate ramp traffic. Like, yep. There's traffic there. You have <laughs> to like, it, you have to fight your way. Yeah, you have. Bro, bro there's people that to. don't want to let you in. I'm like, bro, where am I going to go? Where am I going to go if you don't let me in? Bro, I'm going in. Like, I don't know what you want me to do. And then there's a, another part where it goes from two lanes to one lane. Bro, oh, yeah. Why you, bro? <laughs> yeah, that is the bro. worst. Dude. And, and it's on an intersection. So there's like the people oh, on the side God. turning in. Dude, bro, I hate the, that. It, that road is the most demonic. Bro, it's the most idiot, bro, idiotic design of that, a road. That road it takes Florida. out any happiness and excitement and energy that I have. Bro, you could be getting out of work all the time. Yeah, I'm going home. I'm going home, <laughs> yeah. bro. You get on that road. You're like, I wanted to stay at work. <laughs> bro, and I just be there like. Like, I have no emotion at all. <laughs> like, I turn off my music and everything. Like, I just want to just bask in the nastiness of, of this traffic. Not terrible. just stare at people. Like, like, they, like, I'm, like you said, I'm letting them go in. But they get closer to my car. And they're, they're like this close mm-hmm. to my car. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Like, can you go? And I've actually, go. on that same Boggy Creek part where it goes to the one lane, I've actually seen two trucks, like, like slam into each other how stubborn bro, do you have no, to be no but they don't even care the they don't trucks, care yeah. they just bro they just <laughs> and then just one of them takes over well, and so I was one like, of us is gonna die and i was like i can't believe i just literally bro, witnessed people this. are so petty in florida bro they it's are ridiculous, petty ridiculous man it's the worst <laughs> bro, bro like we're like natural, sardines we're sardines bro there's a natural law all right it's it's an unwritten law i mean when the merge goes from two to one Bro, one at a time, each lane. One at a time. Just merge. Amen. Bro, if no. someone does not follow that law, there's problems. There's always problems. For me, if, if the car in front of me is from the other lane, but then the other dude behind him doesn't want to let me go either, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have a car because crash. This is, this is the, the law dictates that I should be here. <laughs> the unwritten law. That I'm you're, next. you're in my spot. Yeah, I want to emphasize the unwritten law. Yeah, the unwritten bro, law. Bro, there's problems, bro. And, but I feel like there's times where you just have to swallow your pride because, like, like you it's said, not worth bro, it. legit, there are people that will total that will your crush. car just to get into bro, the freaking they don't, lane. They don't Dude, th- I have two things to say about this same thing. But one time I was getting on 417 and 
I was I was in a BM, I was in my wife's BMW and he was in a BMW too. So it's not like it's not like his car is faster than mine because we had the same model, and it was it was like he his wasn't modified or nothing. It was just normal. So I was like, yo, I just gotta book it faster than him to pass him, bro. We started racing, <laughs> like we legitimately started racing, and it was like getting closer to the thing, and I like he was in the lane and I was merging, right? We're going about. 80 i want to say in Death. maybe like 20 yards like 50 yards like it's short it's short and bro i'm like floored i floored it to pass him bro he floors it bro and like you know when it's like it's like you guys are fighting for it and it's like yo one of you guys gotta back out mm -hmm. like i'm like oh he's gonna back out because i'm about to i'm about to get off the road bro savage bro he just book he just he just keeps it going bro and i actually go on the grass like he takes me oh onto the grass God, and, I, and, and then I'm like, doo, 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 and, I, and I get back on it, bro. And I just like, mm, I'm like right behind him. And I'm like, oh, you mother, I'm about to get you. And bro, like he speeds, bro. He's going like 100 on 417. Bro, I'm going like 110 to stay stay on him, bro. I'm like, boom, boom, boom. I'm like right behind him. What were you going to do? <laughs> bro, I, at that point, yeah, I would have fought him. Yeah. Because I wasn't mad that he didn't let me go. I was mad that he didn't care if my car flipped over yeah. for going on the grass because, like, the grass goes down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's Like, I'm getting pissed off right now just thinking about it. It's like, yo, people are that, that petty. Tight. Bro, it's really stupid, dude. It's childish. Bro, it's very it's, childish. It's ridiculous. And I was reminded of it this weekend because I went to Jersey and, bro. I'm they like, don't play. Man, no wonder why... The driving is so bad in Florida because where do all those people move down to? Florida. Florida. <laughs> Bro, it's terrible. It's, it's terrible. The roads are terrible there. Like, it's the most stupid. Bro, that state makes no sense, dude. What, New Jersey? Honestly, I'm confused. You're like, talking about New Jersey yes, or Florida? Oh, from New Jersey. Florida doesn't make Bro. sense, you know, either. Bro, <laughs> well, like you, you, you've lived there. You know what mm -hmm. I'm talking about, bro? There's no such thing as U-turns in New Jersey. There's no U-turns? No. On the major highways, there's no such oh, yeah, thing yeah, as, as U-turns. Bro, you have to lit. Bro, if you pass something, you're screwed. Like legit, you have to drive like an extra two miles to to, to get like to it. turn yeah. somewhere and then turn somewhere yes. and then turn you, somewhere. Because you have to do a right turn and then left turn and left then a turn, right turn. Left turn. Oh yeah, 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 left turn and then bro, a right turn. It's so stupid, dude. It makes no sense. And I think you can't turn on the right either, in Jersey. I don't know. Oh, like right. you have to stop you and wait stop until and wait it's and green then turn right. and then turn. That would kill me if I was driving in New York because I know New York, you get a ticket for that. Like, it w I would just be automatic. Like, red light, boom. And it's like, oh, they got you. Ticket. They Bruh, got you. Those states up there are just, like, thieves. Like, they're just thieving, thieving states. They, they get money for everything. Like, it's, it's so stupid, the rules they have up there. Um, <clears throat> I guess they're imposing, like, a toll now. Where, like, if you're using certain roads in New York, you have to pay. Are you serious? Yeah. <sighs> like, just regular roads. Stupid, bro. bro, that's why my like tags those. are expired. Because... Bro, they're savage here, bro. I have an E pass or whatever, Sun Pass. I don't care, whichever one. He has a pass. I have a okay. pass. Bro, I owed $187 on my, on my E pass. Well, I can't lie. I owe like 50 bucks. It's not 180 no, I paid it. I paid it because I called them and I said, yo, if I pay this, everything's good. They're like, you'll be fine. And then you'll owe like 40 bucks left. You can pay that whenever you want. You'll be fine. Okay. Perfect. Right? I paid my e pass and then they tell me, oh, your license is, or your tags are still expired. I said, why? Because you owe $200 for Sun Pass. For, but have you ever had Sun Pass? No, I never had Sun Pass. You just have this is the kicker. Pass. This is the kicker. If you have, if you have, no, no, I have Sun Pass and it's okay. e, -pass. e Pass. So I have Sun Pass. Sun Pass doesn't pay for e Pass. So, like, if you have no money in your account and you go through a toll that's an e-pass, not only is SunPass charging you, but so is e-pass. Wait, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that's so big. I thought that because I, there's like, I it accepts the any thing. payment. It's, exactly. Exactly. But it's toll by plate. Toll by plate don't care. Oh, so I have to pay, like, 180 this, twice bro. for the same amount of tolls. So I said, no, I'm not paying that. Dude, this society is being Hence so weird, Hence my tags, dude. like, being expired. What the heck? Like, I'm supposed to pay 
to drive the shorter way, John, man, you're dude, making me. Jonathan just said he I had. I just had the same issue, dude. <laughs> exactly. Like, what? like I'm supposed to pay to go the shorter way, and in the free ones, I have to take crappy roads, be stuck in traffic, but I have to pay to drive on a road. And now, if you go from 417 to Land Turnpike, of the free, it's it's toll by plate. Like you have to go through there, bro. And that's like yeah, the most yeah. There's ones that there's no. Bro, that's the most expensive toll I've ever seen. In the my toll life. by plate. No, I no, it's not the 417. I think it's one on 528, bro. Where you're getting off of um, either I four or one of those highways uh -huh. or the turnpike onto five twenty eight, dude. It's like four bucks, dude. It's four like, bucks, bro, it's like ridiculous. And you what know what? The heck? Every freaking six months, I notice, bro. They be bumping every freaking toll I see by a quarter, yeah. dude. Yeah, and it's getting, it's starting to get a little crazy. There's That's no, the there's no dollar tolls. That, They're like a dollar eighty now. Yeah, no dollar seventy five. Two bucks. Two bucks, bro. Two bucks. I'm paying two bucks. To like, what is this, New York, bro? The, the the road, the road. Yeah, but you know what? That's I'll not done yet. And you know what? I'll pay it. I'll pay it. <laughs> nah, nah, bro. For the turnpike, that. it's stupid because you paying two dollars, a dollar seventy five to get on a road that's always under construction, and that it's gonna take you the same amount of time as taking the bro. The back that road. is my worst. That's like my biggest pet peeve. Jonathan said I had to pay fifty seven dollars for Sun Pass and one hundred forty seven dollars for E Pass. <laughs> Bro, I'm in the Bro. same situation, but no, what I hate oh, I is like, like, no, what I what I hate is <laughs> my job. I'm screwed either way because there's Turnpike, which is always packed around like, you know, well, like what's it called? A uh, rush rush hour, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. when it's like five five o'clock, you know, six o'clock, whatever. So four o'clock is not that bad. Four thirty is not that bad. But I'm also right off of Osceola. I mean, not Osceola, Johnny Young. The, and the Johnny young, young, that'd be packed too, boy. Johnny that'd be... So, like, I'm stuck Johnny. either way. So, so I'm like, yo, like, I'm just going to go on 4-7 or Turnpike. Bro, I'll be on Turnpike for an hour. And it's only a 15-minute drive. And I'd be like, bro, like, this is supposed to be faster. I'm it's paying supposed to be it faster. to be faster. Like, but this I'm is the same amount of time. This is the same amount of time for me to drive from, from Central Florida Parkway to my house in St. Cloud. That's the same amount of time than me going in Turnpike and going through all the traffic. Except you're paying for the other one. Except I'm paying more. I'm wasting gas and paying. And it's like, thing. either way, there's no winning because we had that whole... Um, there was, like, talks earlier... Of them adding toll roads to 192 or toll booths to 192. Bro. Right? No, and I read that, bro. And to 192, yeah. like where we, like where we live, or like out there. I don't know, but it it sounded like either multiple way. booths on yeah. 192, and they were like, "Oh, this will help the traffic." You know, it was like, "How? Okay, like so." You're telling me that every single time I leave my house. Every single time, basically, I'm going to have to pay money now just yeah. to leave my house. No, bro, I'm gonna get Aside it. from gas money. That's ridiculous. And then the whole thing with the... Bro, it's like they want to like suck the money out of you so bad, bro, because then they had the whole raise the tax by... Uh, sales tax by a whole cent. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, it's to fix traffic. It's like, um, are there not better ways we can go about this? Like, it's getting crazy out here. I mean, here. it's whatever benefits them, bro. And it's like, I feel like they're just robbing us because at the end of the day, yeah, maybe they'll go under construction, but bro, they're going to just take their sweet freaking time and, you Dude, know. I'm going to have a kid before they're done. <laughs> like, my kids are going to be like, <laughs> like, like I saw bro. one that it's like, it's done by 2022. You saw, you saw an article that said that? No, no. Just like construction, construction, area. like on tolls and roads, just in general. Bro, it's like, yeah. you're telling me that. You're going to make traffic worse in this area for like three to five years just to make it better in the end. But by the time the end comes, it'll be the, the you same. You need more updating yeah, again. Yeah, because our population is going to go yeah, up. Yeah, because of everything. the amount of people we've been getting in Florida. It's ridiculous, bro. Years I hate that. crazy, dude. That's the only reason why I've actually, like, I've never considered moving out of Florida. Like, I want to travel the world and stuff and let this be my home. Mm -hmm. But because of the population, bro, I've considered it. Like, like considered what considered moving away from florida like moving to another i'll state. never bro i'll never move away like from florida. i i never want to move away but it's getting so packed like bro. the, the idea really of it packed. seems more appealing yeah like just I'm, to get away from all the crap exactly like yeah. i've looked up online states that are less populated 
to see which For one I, I love. And then you and then you'll just be bored. Yeah. This is <laughs> about like every other state, aside from like California, Texas, maybe, and, and New York. Yeah. No, no, I think Florida's more. I think Florida's like the top Third. five in, in yeah, population. Definitely top five. But so. you know, but you know, I was actually talking with my wife, and I was telling her that I actually see Florida moving away from like the rural, like town slash small, like small town. Small town feel. Yeah. To, I could literally see like. Central Florida being like a New York City. Well, they'll build. They're building the the sunroof. Like, like, like they already built it. I don't know, but like they're doing more, more. <clears throat> yeah, more like, sunrails. like I'm not, I'm not saying that it'll be like you know, you know, like little blocks or stuff like that. But I'm just saying, like, you know how they always say, like, oh, if you're in Florida, like you need a car because everything's so far away. Yeah, like I feel like that's going away because yeah. they're building stuff everywhere. Yeah. It's like I can literally see this becoming um, a metropolitan area yeah. and not just like a small city. It, it has um, already in a sense because Orlando is like one of the has one of the top metropolitan populations in the country. Yeah, but I'm um, saying like Kissimmee. Yeah, and I feel like Kissimmee is going to get absorbed by mm-hmm. that as well. Yeah, it's going to be one whole big thing. Like um, it's starting to become like a little little L.A. In Central Florida, honestly, with the amount of traffic and the amount of people getting in here, and just how much people are packed into these tight spaces now, and it's not really that attractive to me. I'm definitely like, if you give me the option of either living in like a in the middle of down a downtown uh, urban area and dealing with all the daily things of of an urban area versus living in a rural area and having to deal with the, all the daily things of a rural area i might lean more towards the rural area if i have wi-fi and all that because yeah. bro i just can't i need to be in a big town no nah, i can't stand nah, being stacked know. close to between. people nah I'm but i need to be both. in a big town I, I i know i can't do the nature thing i can't do it Nah. I well i can't be the, too I can't do it. i have to be I like in be- I, i'm more in between like i can drive and i see like all the nature, but then I drive over here and then I see all the Don't nature. get me yeah. wrong, though. Like, given the, I'm saying, like, if those were my t- only two options, I'd lead more towards rural. But mm-hmm. if my perfect scenario would obviously be the best of both worlds, yeah. like when I went to Salt Lake City, like, it's that was perfect for me. Because, bro, there's mountains everywhere. Like, but it's there's gorgeous. Still a town. It's beautiful. It has a small town feel, but it's an it's a urban area. Like, there's things to do. But, like, you're walking the streets at night, bro. It feels, bro, it's nothing like Orlando, bro. Like, I didn't get any vibes of, like, oh, this is kind of, like, I should stay away from here. I should stay away from there, bro. It was chill. Perfect. That's dope. That like, is nice. Bro, it's perfect weather. Dude, it was, like, so chill. Like, uh, I guess some people will want a nightlife in a city. But, like, if my city doesn't have much of a nightlife, like, I'm okay with that. Because that means less, it, like, teenagers stupidity going on at night. I'm and okay with that, too, though. Yeah, that means I can actually But I want to be around buildings. Yeah, I could do things at night without having to fear, you know, taking a wrong or turn. Getting shot. Yeah. So, I don't know. But I don't know. Let us know what you guys think, whether you guys would live on a farm or want to live in Yeehaw. in in the bottom of a freaking dumpster, 30-story apartment complex surrounded Sorry. by thousands of people. I'll offend all. This, this <laughs> has nothing to do with what we're talking about legitimately. But today... I think I've come to the realization that I am a hypochondriac. Hypo? Please define and that. A, a hypo, a hypochondriac. <laughs> a hyper, you don't know what a hypochondriac is? Def- definition, please. A hypochondriac is when they think they have every disease. Like, like there's always. Okay. So today's disease or, or this week's disease of the week for Matt is <laughs> hypochondriac, yeah. which is. The disease that we know he's been struggling with all this time. So we've come full circle, guys. <laughs> Insert a yay. Like share, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like that. <laughs> look, look, look. Th- this is why I think so. Because I was at home. Okay, so I'm on a diet. Okay? I'm on a diet. I know in the beginning I was saying, oh, I'm going to work out. And then I never worked out. And I would go like once Dude, that's my once life. a week or whatever. <laughs> So that has completely changed. I'm on a diet. I've been on a diet. Today's day 20 of my diet. I'm down 13 pounds, which is really great. Thank you. I appreciate it. I've been doing a lot of hard work, going to the gym. 
I do cardio every day. Very tough. Um, I went to Pizza City yesterday, and I did not eat any pizza or wings. And everybody knows that pizza is my favorite food. And I said no to pizza. So this is serious. Hey, All right. I'm proud of you, bro. So I don't feel that I have the same energy that I used to because I'm not eating as many carbs. So I'm always tired. Like I'm always like unmotivated. But it's not that much different than when I was eating all the crap because I was always unmotivated because I was eating so much. <laughs> so, like, it, it, it's just changed for different reasons. Yeah. But I've been finding myself hard to focus sometimes because, like, I'm just lacking that food. Um, <laughs> so today I got home and I was like, yo, I'm just, I'm just going to lay on the couch for, like, five minutes. I ended up falling asleep for 30 minutes, right? Mm-hmm. And then when I got up, dude, I was, like, I was feeling super dizzy. I felt like I, I like I couldn't snap out of that like drowsiness. Like I was like, I was like, oh, I need to get up, I need to get up. And I'm like walking around, I'm like, oh my god, my body hurts. And like I felt like I was gonna fall and stuff. And then I went upstairs. <laughs> and when I went upstairs and I took off my shirt, bro, my skin was red. Like legit red? Like legit red, like red. And I like at first I was sleeping, so I was like, I was like, like, I'm just tripping. But then, like, I started looking at myself in the mirror for real, and I was like, I was like, yo, like, I'm, I'm red. Like, my skin is red. Why is my skin red, bro? And then it started hitting me. I was like, I was like, I was like, oh my god, I've, I've read about people who have like blood diseases, and they start feeling weak, oh and, and they think that they have no I energy. Have anemia. <laughs> yeah, like, like, like they, like they have, they have like they're weak, like they're, they can't, you know, they can't hold their body up. Like it's not. I, my eyes started getting all like blurry, and so I was like, I was like, oh my, like my eyes are getting clouded, and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm dying right I, now. No, legitimately, I was like, I was like, yo, I think I'm dying. I think I'm dying. And then I was like, I was like, Matthew, just chillax, just chill out. Yeah, I was freaking out. Sins. I was freaking <laughs> out legit. Right and I was in my closet. and I was like, yo, just, just, just chillax, yo. And I was like, I was like on edge. And I was like putting on my pants. And then my wife just turns the corner, and stares at me. She wasn't in the house. And bro, it freaked me the hell out. I was like, why would you do that to me? <laughs> why would you? And she's like, she was like, she was like, I was like, I was like, why didn't you knock? I'm like, why didn't you? And I was like, I was like, I didn't want to scare you. I wanted to surprise you. And I was like, don't do that. And I went like that. And then she was like, <laughs> what, the, what heck? the heck is going on? And I was like, a lot's going on. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm dying. Yeah. That's what's going on. I'm dead. <laughs> okay. I did a, what, I, what's the word? What's the word? Hypochondriac. I'm a hypochondriac. Okay? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want to say anything to her. So I was like, nah, I'm just tired. I just woke up from a nap. But, bro, in my head, I was freaking the hell out, bro. I have problems, well, bro. Going I have through a the problem, scenarios. Bro. Matthew's wife, if you were wondering what was going on, then that what was going she's on. She's not watching. She ain't loyal. Bro, no, I'm kidding. Like, I, she's, she's working in the cafe. I, I'm not going to lie. I've had scenarios where it's like I get weird pains. I'm like going through the, all the situations in my head like... Bro, like if it's cancer, what do I tell my wife? <laughs> like, when do I tell her? Do I go We're about this dramatic. in like a Breaking Bad sort of way? Like, yeah, do I just uh-huh. keep it from her and do my own thing, live life to the fullest, and be like, hey, I'm dying. You should never do that. <laughs> <laughs> you should yeah, never right. not tell like, anyone. How would my family take this? Like, dang, what am I gonna do? Like, life insurance, this and that. And then I'm like, I'm probably fine. Like, yeah, yeah, you're probably fine. <laughs> there, was a, there was a moment like my mom was killing I me think, with the comments. <laughs> what did you say? You aren't drinking enough water, and you need vitamins. You don't have any health problems. <laughs> Dude, there was like a month ago, like there was like two months straight uh-huh. where all I had was like colds and coughs, and I had like, I got food poisoning. Like <laughs> so you twice. thought there's something wrong with you? Yeah. like <laughs> and, and like for me, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to take any medicine. I'm the same way. I don't like taking medicine right? unless it's NyQuil. Yeah. So I didn't take any medicine. So I was like stuck with a cough for like ever and i was and and it was for so long but i was functioning like fine but then i started taking medicine and it didn't go away and i was like dude like when am i ever gonna stop being sick i was sick for like over two months and i i, I didn't even i didn't care i would just and my girlfriend would be like you should take some medicine you, you've been sick for too long and i'm like nah dude i'm fine but I would feel horrible. I would just not do anything about it. You're like breaking it. into little pieces. You're like, no, <laughs> yeah. I'm fine. I'm holding it all together. I, I I'm holding it all together. I wouldn't do anything about it. Like, I would have diarrhea. Like, I would poop like 20 times in one day. 
and I would do nothing about bro, that. Bro, I, I do that on a regular, bro. That's not... Uh, you have like nothing I mean, wrong with yeah. that. I feel like there's a guy thing. Like, <laughs> diarrhea, dumps, though? Anything. Like, like watery yeah, diarrhea? Like, any any expulsion of, of feces. Doesn't matter. <laughs> bro, nah, I feel that's like, not normal. Dude, legit, like, you could be coughing up blood or, like, having violent diarrhea. And if it ain't more than, like, three, four weeks, bro, you're, ne- you're not going to do anything about it. Bro, I feel like guys is just like, whatever, like, I'll be fine. My body will correct You're the like, issue itself. You're like, have one eye and like you have, popping And out. you have, like, your liver failure and all this stuff. You're like, bro, I'm fine, bro. <laughs> I'm bro, totally I'm fine. fine. <laughs> I had a heart attack yesterday. Like, I'm fine, dude. Like, 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 I just had a stroke. I'm fine. I don't need to go see your doctor, okay? <laughs> dude, it's fine. No. Like, my wife will legit be like, you need to go to a doctor. You need to do this. I'm fine. Like, I got this. It's fine. Bro, legit. I can go. Bro, I, I had the cough for, like, two months. I never went to a doctor. Oh yeah, I remember. Never, that. never took any medicine or anything. Before. I've done that too many times. Like my wife is that person, bro. Like my wife, be like I'm getting sick. I'm getting sick. I'm like take medicine. No, I'm fine. I'm fine, bro. And like both dude, of y'all gonna die, dude. And I'll see. <laughs> no, no, I'll see her. Like, bro, like she's bad, bro. Like, like a hundred fever, and she's like, I'm fine. Like, <laughs> yeah, and then <laughs> and then yeah, and then finally <laughs> and then finally and then finally she like breaks down. She's like, I'm not fine. I'm not fine. I'm like, you should have taken the medicine when I told you. And I just walk away. I just leave her. And when I, I told her, her, she's like dying. Whatever. Yeah, I was like, I already told you. I already told you not to do it or to to take it. Oh man. Yeah, but um, before we wrap up, I don't know how much time we got left, but I wanted to dive into this real quick. Uh, Mario, you just released another single. I and, did. Um, it was trash. It was horrible. <laughs> got, the worst thing ever. Coming artist here. It was trash on our show. Yeah. But um, how do you feel about the whole uh experience about you know, gra- uh. Doing the first single and, and comparing it to the second one and the things you've learned along the way. And be honest. And no, honestly, yeah. So I honest, feel yeah. like I've come a long way, right, from these two. But I feel like obviously I haven't reached my potential yet, mm-hmm. right, because I'm still learning. So from my first one, I didn't have, like, a lot of guidance, right? Mm-hmm. It was just, like, me, right? So I wrote it or whatever. And obviously I'm not super musically inclined. I come from writing like spoken word poetry, which you don't have like, you don't have to follow the rhythm. Obviously you don't have to rapper that has no musical talent. There you go. That's, <laughs> that's exactly how you can describe it. <laughs> legit. So then I tried to do my best on the first one. And I feel like that, the lyrically I had too much, I had too much lyrics. Mm-hmm. I feel like the track was amazing. I could have done a better job at it. But, like, I feel like the first track was more like, dang, I believe in myself. Like, I'm going to go out there. Like, that was I'm going to wet your me. feet a little bit. Yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm wetting my feet or whatever. I'm going to, whatever, put myself out there. Which, honestly, dude, that day where I performed it, like. You were so nervous. Dude, I went to the bathroom, like, 15 times before <laughs> I went. In the span of, like, Five one minutes. hour. Yeah, oh, like, I- in an hour, I went, like, 15 times to the bathroom. <laughs> and it was just to pee. Like I was just, pe- I was producing, and I wasn't even drinking so water. So you were at church, but you weren't in the service. I was barely, <laughs> barely, bro. I was, I just kept going to the bathroom, but I was so nervous. So then I did it, and and I, I, even when I looked at the video, I had like my hands in my pocket. I looked like a little kid that uh-huh. goes up to, like for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, was, hello. God bless I'm, you. <laughs> I'm I'm my Chessie right? Yeah, I like a song. And uh, yeah, thank you. And th- that was me, right? So then my second time around, I met this guy, right? And I knew, <laughs> bro. Are you gay or something? No, dude. <laughs> I met this gay guy. pride. <laughs> well, it's June. We ready? We ready? <laughs> I didn't even gay pride this. month. <laughs> it's over. Thank God. Anyways, I think that they shouldn't get a whole month. Anyways, yeah, I said that. I'll talk about that later. Anyways, <laughs> so actually, Matthew is my producer now. So um, that's the guy I met. Yeah. So then I ain't gay no more. He yeah we're yeah. Anyways. <laughs> So, I mean, that was, it was a whole different experience. It was more creative. Matthew's obviously so uh, more musically inclined. He's a musician and everything like that. So, um, and I make fire beats. He does. He does make good music. No, he's not joking. He he, he does make good music. I suck compared to a lot of producers. Well, it's my first ever beat. It is, but it's it's good. (laughs) Like, like, like for the first time, it's good. Yeah, for the first time, it's good. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Um, they did a great job, and you guys should check out the single on um, Apple Music, right? Apple and Music, Spotify, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube. You, you have guessing. to search Marchesi because yeah, everybody searched up Marchesi right. Yes. Yeah, just look up Marchesi. Marchesi. Yeah, but uh, but I'm in a place where I don't have M A R C H 
E S I. Not Marchese. Not Marchese. You know what's Chessy. funny? When you were preaching on Friday, they put Mario Marchese. Yeah, they did. <laughs> put Marchese with an I. But it's all right. But, what's um, the name of the single again? Soul. Soul. Soul, Soul. Soul by Marchese. Salt. But you know, you be, you, be, you want to know what's so funny about it? People come up to me and tell me it's trash. Really? Yeah, bro. Wow. Legit. Right there. That you right suck. There. Are you serious? Yeah. And That's that fun. I suck too. Oh, no, I'm not. being dead serious. I'm not. I'm not joking. Like I'm being dead serious. Like people are like, yo, like, like that was okay. Like that was okay. Could have been better. Like, 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 like they try to sugarcoat it. Yeah. Like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's your first beat. Like you're gonna get better. Like, you wow. know what? Like, like I have no. Like they like backhandedly compliment. Right. Yeah. Like you just know, tell me you don't like it. That's yeah, fine. that's it. That, and it's okay. You're Jonathan entitled said to. He didn't like it. He straight fine. up told me. Straight yeah. up. He's like, like, he's like, I don't like it that much. I'm cool with that. I'm cool I'm with cool like. With that. I'm cool with um, people who don't like it. That's fine. Because yeah. I obviously make music for people who are going to like it. Exactly. So that's it. But the only problem that I have is that, remember there was this one time that we were at the gym, right? And this is when I was bigger and we were like pretty in good shape, right? So then we're like doing squats and then this guy comes over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was skinnier he, than us. He, he was, was way skinnier. Us how to do it. Yeah. And he was trying to tell us how to do things. Yeah. So you hate when people do that to you. I hate when people who aren't like there or doing it. I already like, know who you're talking about. I don't know. I'm not talking about anybody specific. Oh, because to be honest. Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> but you can tell me later. He got someone in mind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I I'm, do have that, I'm not mind. talking about. I, I was. I didn't have anybody in mind. But like, for example, like if somebody who doesn't play guitar tells you how to play your guitar, that's just like, can you shut up? <laughs> like you don't know what you're doing, uh-huh. and not like a. Or even if they <laughs> just like someone who doesn't play guitar, and they go up to him and be like. Bro, I don't like the, your style. Like, I don't like how you play guitar. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah, it's just like, okay. like, why are you telling fine. me that? I yeah. don't care. Like, exactly. It's like, I don't care. It, the, the fact, what bothers me is that you actually think that I care and you're telling me. <laughs> and I was just like, dude, you're wasting your breath. Don't tell me. Just uh-huh. just stick it to your, what, it's just, that's it. Stick it at your time, time, <laughs> Yeah. But at the same time, it, you're so irked that you kind of do care, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. If it bothers you, then that means you care. <laughs> yeah, I do. Of course you can. Go yeah. ahead, continue. No, nah, but um, oh, is awesome. there uh, anything uh, as a producer that you know you got you took from this first time experience? I learned a lot. I I made a lot of mistakes that I didn't know that producers were supposed to make. Like my perception was like I make a beat, I record it, and I put it out. That's exactly how it's not done. <laughs> you have to you make the song. Well, I mean, I know about mixing and mastering, so it's not like it's not like I didn't know, but like there was a lot of like steps that I needed to take in like like for example, like you make the song, but then before you make before you like take it to the next step, you need to do this step first, and like I didn't know that step, so I would go to the next step, and then like we'll like start doing the next set of stuff, and they're like, oh, did you do this? And I was like, oh, I didn't know I had to do There's that. Like the little details. Then, then we had to go all the way back. Do like free fix that and then go to the step that I already was doing, you know what I'm saying? And then when it got to the mastering, like there was so many things that I didn't know I needed to do. Like the quality has to be at a certain bit rate, like it has to be a certain wave type, yeah. like it has to be exported. The right, I was like, what the and while he's doing God. all that, I'm oblivious to the entire thing. I know, and he <laughs> and he's on me, like, like bro, we're releasing on Wednesday, yeah. release it on Wednesday. It was like Monday on Tuesday, okay. hey, we're releasing on Wednesday. So, uh, that was yeah. that leads me to my next question. So I guess it's the answer is no, but I was going to ask if if you found it to be more of a collaborative effort than you thought it would be. Or is it just really you do your thing, he does his thing? And I, I think it's it a little both. It can, be bo- it can be both. It depends on the relationship you have with the artist mm-hmm. and the relationship the artist has with the producer. Like sometimes, like, you just make the beat and, and then boom. He does whatever he wants. Like, I just, but, I just make the beat and then it's yours. You do whatever the hell you want to since, do. Since me and Matthew are friends, I, I'm totally open because obviously he's more music than kind. I just have the lyrics, right? Yeah. So, there, for example, like the hook on that song, Matthew created that melody, right? So, he created that melody on that and we just tweaked a little bit of the, of the lyrics so that it can go. Um, but he did that, right? So, I want it to be more um, like a uh, collab because I'm learning. Yeah. So... If I don't do that, I'm just going to keep making my first single over and over and over again. <laughs> it's just going to be the <laughs> same thing. You keep being sucky and sucky yeah, and like, sucky. Yeah, like I'm not going to progress. I'm not going to get better. Yeah. And for me, as long as I'm getting better, then I'm doing what I got to do. Exactly. That's it. Same for me. All right. So be on the lookout for a possible album in the future. Who knows? Yeah. Um, for sure. We'll yo. see what happens. But um, 
we touched on the gay pride thing and oh man go go ahead think, say your piece don't say you your guys piece. think i was gonna forget about that <laughs> i told you i was gonna offend large groups of people this week as well as i did eat last the week. rainbow taste the you rainbow. have the floor <laughs> bro i'm just gonna say i'm so glad it's july like i'm i'm really happy it's june is over y'all have taken the month of june and have given it a sour taste in my mouth it ain't Skittles. I ain't tasting no rainbow. <laughs> I don't want to taste no rainbows, bro. The rainbows have been being shoved down my throat for 30 days straight, and I'm tired of it. I'm just going to say, oh, the live's gone, so they don't have to listen to this offensive <laughs> thing anymore. But I'm just going to say. I know like, we're at 59 minutes. I feel like a whole month is so unnecessary. Yeah. And I feel like maybe if this was like the 1970s or 1980s, <laughs> When this was actually an issue of gay people being actually oppressed, mm -hmm. then okay. But we're in 2019, and it's actually popular to be gay now. Yeah. Like, it's a like, fag. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. be real. Like lots Did you of just say it's a fag? <laughs> lots of <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Bro, dang. So, Black Perk, <laughs> he, was, he saw the racist things we were saying. He got mad. <laughs> he started watching oh our stream. Oh, my God. Go nah, ahead, go but, ahead. Um, I was going to say, um, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. I just think it's it's unnecessary to do a whole month. Like, if you want to give a tip of the cap or not. Like, like, like hey, you're saying that it's it's popular to be. To it be is because you see it with celebrities everywhere All the now. Time. Even if they're not gay, they're promoting the gay culture. Yeah. Well, because they want to keep their fans. Yeah. And it, it's the like. Millennials. I feel like it's an agenda that's being propagated by mm -hmm. a lot of the media head, like the, the heads of media out there. Mm -hmm. uh, like the whole Bad Bunny thing. Like, oh, uh, is that guy no, even bro. gay? Because I don't uh, even know what he's he coming is, out with bro. some really gay stuff. Like, <laughs> whoa, don't say, whoa, what are you trying to time say, man? And time and again, bro, super gay, dude. And then he does the whole like point and nails thing. And then, bro, like a few days That's later, no. Nikki Jam comes out and does. The I same know he thing. does the same thing, bro. Oh are God, you bro. gay, bro? Are all these people gay? Is everyone gay all of a sudden? Like, I don't yeah. understand. Or is this just a, a, a popular thing? It's, it feels like it's the latter to me, because. Bro, it's what's like, hot right now. Speaking on a on a on a about the like statistical point of view, gays make up what like bro less than ten percent of the of, of the entire population. I want to say until they come like out. like the 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 data's kind of skewed because there's obviously going to be certain websites and things that you know promote the opposite and want to put their own numbers to make it look mm -hmm. like oh there's more gays than there actually really is. But when you get down to the nitty gritty, bro, it's it, they're still a very small minority. And the fact that they're taking such such a majority of Hollywood and, and, and the media and, and music, everything, everything you see, social media, it's it's really annoying. Like, well, how about we have a straight Pride Month? How about that? Is <laughs> it guess. is it still a crime? Like, is That's it a crime cool, to bro. be straight? That's not cool anymore. Oh, it's not cool. Like, I don't know. It feels like it's a crime, and, and I feel you, like it's gonna be a crime eventually if you yeah. if you say anything of the sort of what I'm saying. Yeah. Say ten ten years down the line, I feel like I'd go to jail for saying this. Yeah, I feel like I feel like it's dumb because the the people who preach don't shove your beliefs down my throat are shoving their beliefs down people's throat, right? And the only problem that I really have is that like once you state your opinion, like yeah, I don't agree with it, and they're like, oh, you're hating on me and this and that, and I'm like. My opinion isn't like shaping your life. But, yeah, like it's, it, you yeah. can live your life, it's, dude. It's, it's insignificant. Like just be gay. Yeah. Who cares? But like it, if I don't agree with what you're doing, just honestly, don't be my friend. Honestly, just keep yeah, it moving. Your, your sexual preferences are like one of the least important qualities about you. Like who cares? Yeah. Why are we making such a big deal out of this? No one goes like no one should come up to me and be like, "Hi, I'm Steven. I'm gay." I don't care. <laughs> yeah, like and that's I don't the, care. Hello, I'm Ulysses and I could care less. <laughs> yeah. I don't go up to people and be like, "I'm Ulysses, I'm straight." Who cares? Yeah, dude. Like, yeah, and, but and yeah, but cares? yeah, but now people are like, "Hello, my name's Matthew. I like pronouns him, her, or him, his." Yeah, they do it oh, all the time. So bro. stupid. So put, it is stupid. Bro, I said, I said him, her. They put their <laughs> him, her. I'm everything, bro. They put so much of their identity into their, their sexual sexuality. preference or their gender, and it's so like you, that's so empty. Like, Which, by the way, so there's vain. only two genders. Yeah, there's only two genders. There's only that, two and, genders, and, and male and female. We can fight female. on that. Like, we can legit physically fight on that. <laughs> like, you can come here right now, and, <laughs> and we can fight. fight. All right. We can fist fight right now. <laughs> 
There are two genders. I don't condone there. this. this, this <laughs> so, fight. but the and what was I gonna say? All peace, bro. Metal world peace for metal world peace. <laughs> that the, the fighter, yeah, the fought <laughs> people, the one who, who actually fought fans. No, so yeah. I just want to say like, it's being it's it's a bit much, it, it, and I feel like it's, it's getting worse every year, especially with the corporations and bin- businesses like pushing it to like, oh, mm-hmm. we support gay pride. Do you guys support? Uh, veterans as much as you support gay people that's true you guys support homeless people as much as you you support gay people you support the minorities as, as much as you support the gay people like because it, it really don't feel that way yeah and, and we should really get a reality check when it when it comes to those things because there is, oh, he's there is kinda, right? yeah yeah and i <laughs> i agree with him because I, feel not, like, I agree too i feel like you know like the the the, the community Everything that they are is their sexual orientation. Like, yeah. there's nothing else. We don't talk about their characteristics. I hate that word. There's not. We don't talk about like anything else that they like. I'm just gay. There's literally yeah, but, people but you know in why, their bio, bio that are like, you I'm know gay. why they do that? And you know why it. they do that? Because they literally have nothing else exactly to bring to that's life. How they, sad of a life <clears throat> they have. That, no, that's it's the it's, only it's thing not they even it's not even to. it's not even that they have uh, like. Bro, yeah, they just want attention. Yeah, but it, it. you know what it is? It's because they, they have no fulfillment in their life. They're looking for that fulfillment, and unfortunately, they want to use their sexual orientation yeah, because, to use that as a yeah, fulfillment Yeah, now it's being life. fed to them yeah. by mm-hmm. all these, you know... They want validation and justification. Yeah, yeah. and don't, don't even support give me... gay people, and they, and they want that attention. You, they, you know what? I do it. support gay people in the sense of I want you to, you know, live... Yeah, live and, the life you, you know, want to live. live. Okay, live, That's it. live That's fine. and 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 I, you know I don't want people to be persecuted or right. chastised exactly. or whatever for either. what you believe. But just know, because we're Christian and this is our faith, is that we love gay people. But of course, we don't agree with that. But that doesn't mean that we're casting you aside. It doesn't mean that you're being chastised. Yep. It doesn't mean that of, you know. Oh. And and if you're saying that you're being judged, every person is judged by some ordinance by something yeah. everybody they're, you're not they're a, judging you're us right now than anyone else we're all sinners and, we're, and that's, that's it. we're, we're judged we're on attraction same. level exactly. that's yeah. that's just right there and don't even get me started on puberty blockers bro how are you getting a 10 year old we're going way <laughs> deep <laughs> now <laughs> don't, way don't deep. even get me started on a 10 year old <laughs> who's a guy and feels like it's a girl and i'm gonna put puberty blockers so that your testicles don't grow hey bro. guys Dude, that's unnatural guys, look up ruby rose Ruby Rose, she's she's a celebrity. She's an actress. She said, I'm not going to quote it word for word, but she said in one interview, in one instance somewhere, that she wanted to, to take the hormones because she wanted to be a guy. But when she was younger, and she doesn't agree with that, with the horm- like the beta block, whatever the hell is. Mm-hmm. Puberty blockers. Puberty blockers. She's not with it because... She felt like that, but she held out a little bit longer, and then she realized that she really didn't want to be guy. Mm-hmm. You know, she was she, just gay. She was just gay. That's it. Yeah, dude, be gay. Man. I could be way wrong, but I feel like she yeah. was the one that said it. And, yeah, and that, and that's one of the most silliest things to happen in this country. But, that's dude, bro, puberty blockers, bro. Parents that do that to their kids, honestly, you guys, sh- sh- you should be castrated, and you shouldn't have Jesus like Christ. rights to kids because <laughs> yeah, you're dude, ruining a so life. Pull a Michael Jackson on your parents. Yeah, honestly, dude, it's inhumane, bro. It really is. You're ruining the child's life. The, 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 his life will be forever impacted, and so many health bro, problems. A kid, like you're gonna let a kid decide, dude. When I was ten, I wanted to be Thor. For real. What are you going to do? You're going to give me uh, some Captain America type surgery, inject all these testosterone things into me and make me For a real. super soldier? Or give cool you steroids? Like, dude, you, I want to cool be a that. transformer. What are you going to do? <laughs> Bolt car parts onto me or something because I, I can transform and all this? Like, dude, it's so ridiculous. Mom, I'm a tiger. Okay, I'm going to get I'm gonna get tattoo you. Yeah, right. with we're going to inject cat DNA For inside real. of you and we're going to make you a chimera. Like, no, it's so <laughs> stupid. It's ridiculous. It's, it's stupid, you know, bro. Kids, kids have crazy minds. Like, they want to be anything. Like the 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 possibilities are limitless for them. Like they could they if they think about something, like nothing's impossible for them. I want to be a tree. Yeah. Like all right, son, you're gonna live outside. Take off your clothes right now. A a kid would say that (laughs) honestly, and to take it so seriously and so to heart and and put such weight to what they're saying at such a young age is so stupid, dude. And it's It's legal, bro. I know. That's why we have to advocate. Well, it's not stupid, bro. It's crazy. It's not stupid. It's not stupid. So with that being said, I just want to say that, you know, all you guys who are offended, 
you know, it's okay, dude. You can live your life, and we can live. I was just kidding fun. about the fighting. It is what it is. It just irks me that I wasn't kidding. It just irks me that some people, you know, make such in- ignorant choices in their lives, and yeah. you know, this is Might the world we live. Some in. more ignorant choices right now because of the question of the day. Oh, here we go, and let's well, take a sharp turn to the right. <laughs> there's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> they, who questions people? No, no, I have it here. Oh, okay. All right. Would you rather oh. eat desserts or appetizers? You can only choose one. Desserts, bro, all day. Desserts all day, dude. It's so easy. You know, I would. That was gonna be really? my go-to. Nah, bro. I choose but then appetizers. I thought about it, and I, I go with appetizers every time. Ah, dude. Nah. Appetizers, bro. I'm of the ilk that like you, you I like need, sweet. I need the sweet after the. I savory. like salty. That's fine. Wait, what? what what's I the can question? Get the salty like and the after savory. you have your entree. Like, would you rather eat desserts or would you rather eat appetizers? I take it back. Desserts. I'm going to have a sweet tooth. Bro, I don't desserts. have a sweet tooth. I do. Bro, it's like, really? I, I need something sweet after my saltiness. Like, what's the point, bro? Like, you're going to eat a mini version of what you're essentially going to eat. Yeah. But, like, bro, yeah, because so it's like, because it's like getting your tummy ready. Like, like oh. bro, Bahama Breeze has these yuca, yuca fries. Mm, banging. Bro, they're like mozzarella sticks, but they're made out of yuca. But I prefer having my entree Good, and, and eating dessert. like a, a yeah, like a really yeah, hot you know brownie what? But you with know what? Like yeah, but you know what? Not every restaurant has good desserts. That's fine. I can go. But a lot of them got good appetizers, bro. That's true, but that's why I'm getting an entree. I ne- I honestly I never really yeah, but even a order good appetizers. dessert beats a good entree any day of the week, honestly. On every Wait, what? I don't know if bro, I can say that, it, bro. Yeah, th- dude, you're going I'll somewhere you else, man. A the nice only thing that I'll Oreo agree with. Oreo molten, bro. Yeah, I w- not Oreo. Chili's, just a regular molten. Or, or, or white like chocolate, bro. No, bro, bro. Just the regular molten. Nah, bro. I don't like the regular one. A white chocolate. Because you extra. Like molten, you extra. Yeah. My, well, I ain't that you're extra. extra. But I'm bro. pretty extra. Bro. He's extra, bro. <laughs> but it's, bro, it's like extra, extra. orgasmic, bro. Like, but you're like, the guy that eats. Oh! 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 He just Christ. said the word, bro. <laughs> bro. You peaked on that microphone, bro. <laughs> All right, second bro. one. This, this is the last one. <laughs> Would you rather be stuck in a line in person or online stuck in a queue? In a queue? Has have you ever been online stuck in a queue? I actually have. No. Like like when like there's like a timer. There's like uh, a ti- yeah. Like you have to wait until it's like your turn. That you never, you've never had that yeah, happen. First off, I've, I would, I've had that I would like, never buy anything that I would require me to wait in a line online, because that's the stupidest thing ever. Online, like so all you y'all speak your heads. I'm sorry, but like that's so dumb to me. But I would rather wait online because I'm at home. Versus, yeah, exactly. In the AC versus like I could be waiting in line outside somewhere. Bro, exactly. I mean you could just leave your laptop there and kind of like do other things. Exactly. So that's what I would do. I would but not with those because you gotta be on top of that with the with the buying of. The all right, all right, all right. I'm that. I'm gonna alter it a little bit. I'm gonna alter it. Go. Would you rather be stuck in line in person or have to go through the time allotments when like when you take tests? And you have to wait like the hour or whatever it is. Like, you know, when you finish a test early mm-hmm. online. Have you ever had that? Yeah, I've had it. Bro, I, I that to online. me is the worst. I still do online. That's the worst, bro. Yeah. When, I mean, when it like, sucks, but I might still do online because for I, real? Yeah, bro, dude, I'm just, just being outside. Yeah, just, it's just, I want to be home. I dude. think I'm going to have to go against you. I think I'm going to have to rather be stuck in a line. So you'd rather be outside sweating bullets and just Well, being I could be in a people. Walmart. You, just, you I just I wouldn't want to be around people. As long as I got my comfy Adidas slippers, I'm good. Because yeah. if it's because I feel like if you're shopping online, is to not, shopping. yeah. If you're shopping, shopping <laughs> online, is not so that you're waiting. Yeah, that is it, it defeats the purpose. Sure, which yeah, is yeah, true. I guess I guess <clears throat> it's true. I, I still want to be in my but comfort yeah, of my house. still prefer. And honestly, that reminds me of all those people waiting for the hog, uh, the new. Uh, Harry Potter, right? Oh yeah, stupid! Yeah. Bro, I would not wait ten hours You're, the entire day. You guys day, are so bro. dumb. You guys yeah, are. Yeah, but they're idiots. doing this so they could be like, "Yo, I wrote it the first day." Who cares? Who cares? Dragon rights. I don't care. You know what bro, I think? You don't care you about anything, bro. <laughs> You're <laughs> stupid because <laughs> you wasted an entire day just to ride a five minute ride and say, "Oh, you know what he hears? I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Stupid. I'm stupid. Stupid. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. 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 I'm stupid. 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 And you know, I I stupid. Stupid. And I went stupid. Stupid. And and I'm so stupid. Stupid. Everyone's stupid. 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 Everyone's stupid. I was gonna say y'all stupid. Like stupid. Stupid. 
Y'all tripping. Nah, like legit. <laughs> Y'all tell me, tripping. though, I wrote it the first day. Great. I'll write it three months from now when the, when the line's still be only great. an hour. <laughs> and if it's not, I'm not going on until it's an hour or less. Yeah. That's it. Because I'm not wasting my time like y'all. y'all. But White people, man. Only white people. Say, white people. say goodly. All right. Goodly? Yeah. Goodly. <laughs> no, don't say goodly. <laughs> what do you mean? Say it goodly. You know the saying. We you know the say, saying. I know right? you don't listen to our own like I know, I know you don't listen to the podcast because you don't know what it, what it is. W- wow. At the end of every episode. We say the same thing every time. We say the same thing. I forgot what it was. Nah, bro. Are you serious? I think I did. All right. Well, just, well you a, know what? No, I'm Take a, count a step three. back. No, no. I'm going to count to three and you just say whatever you think it is. All right. All right. With that, With that being, being said, no, no, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was letting him. I was gonna uh, let him. He doesn't know it. With that being said, <laughs> with that being said, say it right though. There say it, go. say it goodly, goodly. All right. With, with that, that being, being said, said, we're out. Deuce. Yeah. Well, we didn't do the whole. Wait, hold on. We're not out. 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 Yeah. With that not being said, yeah, that's not being said yet. Well, that was rehearsal. Like. Go go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Rate, yeah. review, subscribe, check us out on YouTube. Uh, hit the notification bell so you get all the updated videos. And stuff. You know what's funny? In this time, the music's already playing loudly. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? We're like yeah. wasting the, the the music time. Um, check us out on Spotify and on Apple Podcast. Apple Be sure Pie. to leave us a good review. Give us five stars. Um. We have not forgotten about all these things we've talked about doing on our YouTube channel. Bro, it's just like, it's look, just at Byron look at us. Look at our cast. Yeah, Byron every week out. someone's out with something. It's yeah. super hard to get something done when every week someone has an issue. But Shots I promise fired. you, it will happen. It will happen. We will make it happen. We <laughs> just happen to choose a day that's a part of the weekend. Yeah, we, 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 we got to <laughs> sort it out. We got a mess going do. on. But we'll get it sorted. Yeah. It's so... Coming. With, With that, that being, being said, said, now we is yeah. out. Pet your beard, the boss cast.